Hi, this is John from John Witzel Photographic Arts. I mounted the prints for my last two gallery shows on Plywork bamboo panels. Uh, Plywork is a small company down in Portland, Oregon, one state south of here. The panels um, come in quite a few different sizes and formats, and also several thicknesses. Um, they can add a, a very interesting dimension to your uh, photography. So uh, I learned a lot doing these two shows, and I thought I'd share these tips um, to help other people that are going to use these panels get off to a quicker start. Um, so let's get to it. The first thing you want to do when you receive your panels from Plywork is you want to inspect them closely. Plywork packs the panels very, very well. However, I have received some boxes of them um, where it looks like the shipping companies run the box over with their truck a couple times. So uh, let's take a look at one. So the first thing I look at is I take a look and make sure that none of the corners are dented. You want to make sure that none of the edges have any dings or dents in them as this is going to be visible when the panel is hung on the wall. But most importantly, and this is critical, is that this surface where the print goes is completely free of any defects. They will show through when you mount your print on there. So that's the number one and most important thing to do is make sure that this surface is in good shape. In this step, I'm going to measure the plywork panel. Plywork provides the panel slightly undersized so that you can have a bleed or a slight overlap of your image so that when you trim it, your image will be flush with the edge of the panel. Uh, but being as it's a natural product, the panels aren't always provided in the exact same size. So I found it useful to measure them first so that I can adjust my image size in Lightroom or Photoshop so I can get the maximum amount of image on the panel with still with the required amount of overlap or bleed to trim off. So for example, this is a 16 by 16 inch plywork panel. However, in reality, it's 15 and 5 eighths by 15 and 5 eighths. Therefore, there's basically a 3 16 overlap on each side. So I would adjust my image slightly smaller and still have enough to trim off the panel to get a flush fit. <clears throat> a cutting mat makes it very convenient to work on all sides of the panel, and it makes it quite easy to pick the panel up off the table. You can also take the panel off screen for several seconds for no obvious reason. Setting the panel down on the cutting mat is easy and helps you avoid catching your fingers or your gloves underneath between the panel and the table. <laughs> 